We are back in the STX International Kitchen. I'm Will, and today I'm here to show you another customer favorite, our Activation 420 Herbal Decarboxylator. It's the perfect product to decarb your cannabis before infusing it into butter, oil, or alcohol. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how it's packaged, what comes with it, how to use it, and how to clean it. The unit comes in this corrugated cardboard box that is discreetly labeled STX International Products. Inside are sturdy recyclable cartons that protect it during shipping. When you first open the box, you will find the instruction manual sitting on top. Once you remove the top protective carton, you will find the main unit and accessories. The accessories that come included with the Activation 420 are two aluminum alloy containers, two silicone storage lids, and a silicone cooking lid. Remove first the metal container and silicone lids. Once those are out, it's easy to just pull the main unit out of the box. Secured inside the main unit, you will find the second container and the cooking lid. Before we get started though, let's take a second to geek out a little bit on what it means to decarb something and why this product is so important. Using cannabis as an example, decarboxylation is the process where you lightly heat the herb at a constant temperature for a specific amount of time to activate the cannabinoids. Now those are the compounds like CBD and THC that are found in cannabis. This allows you to get the maximum benefit from the herb. If you don't decarb before infusing, your cannabis will only be about 10 to 25% activated. However, decarbed cannabis will be 100% fully activated. And when you use your Activation 420 to decarb cannabis before infusing it, your edibles will be far more effective than if it was not decarbed. If you did not decarb your cannabis, your edibles will not be very potent and you will have to use at least three to five times as much cannabis to achieve the same potency as the smaller decarb sample. The next step is infusing the activated cannabinoids into the fat, such as butter or oil, or into alcohol. This is easily achieved using one of our other great products, the Infusium 420. Check that out at the official STX International video we posted on how to use the Infusium. Now that we've unpackaged everything, it's time to use your Activation 420. Now for our purposes today, I'm going to show you how to decarb cannabis on the fully automatic default setting of 250 degrees for one hour. If you're more adventurous or an enthusiast that has a tried and true method, there is also a do-it-yourself setting, which allows you to adjust the temperature and time to your exact personalized settings. While I'm using cannabis this time, any herb or botanical can be decarbed in the unit. It is also great for making melted chocolate candies or fondue. That's the beauty of the Activation 420. It has great versatility. And the stainless steel construction of the heating chamber with the silicone cooking lid makes it virtually odor free. And each unit has been calibrated to ensure a consistent temperature throughout the entire process. We will start by opening up the Activation 420 main unit using the convenient twist and lift off top handle. Simply give the lid a light twist to unlock it and you can lift it right up. Once the unit is open, you will see the stainless steel heating chamber. Here you will see the auto-regulating thermostat on the bottom of the unit. We get a lot of questions asking if you should remove the silicone cover over the thermostat at the bottom of the unit. The answer is no. It is there to protect the canister from being scratched and also keeps the unit quiet while running. So please leave it there. Now, again, I will be using cannabis, but you can use a variety of different things. There are two containers to choose from to put the herb in. One is divided in half, so if you are decarbing different strains and want to keep them separate, you have that option. The other container is not divided and will hold up to two ounces of cannabis. We will use this one today since we are doing one strain, but be sure to cover the canister with the silicone cooking lid that has the square on the top. The other two silicone lids are only for storage. Replace the main unit lid and lock it into place with a light twist. The next step is plugging in the unit to turn the power on. You'll see the digital control panel turn on and the light will be green. First, let's talk about setting the time. Press the red start stop button once and the display will show one hour. This is the default time. Notice the light is still green. From here, you can switch to do-it-yourself mode instantly by pressing the plus or minus time adjustment buttons to increase or decrease the time in five-minute increments down to 30 minutes or up to four hours. 
One thing to point out here is that the time you set will always include a 20 minute preheat time. So if the unit is set for one hour, it will heat up for 20 minutes and then cook for 40 minutes. Always add 20 minutes to the amount of time you want to actually decarve so your herb cooks for the full amount of time. Next, I'll show you how to set the temperature. If you press the plus or minus temperature adjustment button once, it will show 250 degrees. Remember, this is the default temperature. Just like the time, you can instantly switch to the do-it-yourself mode by pressing the plus or minus buttons, which will increase or decrease the temperature in one degree increments. The activation 420 can be adjusted to any temperature between 160 degrees Fahrenheit and 270 degrees Fahrenheit to suit your decarbing preferences. Now I want to address some of the most common questions we get. The first is regarding the temperature reading on the display unit versus what's inside the canister. This is normal and happens because the temperature on the display is coming from the thermostat located in the bottom of the unit. So there will be a slight discrepancy because the heat has to penetrate the canister. For example, the default temperature of 250 degrees on the display is actually 226 degrees inside the container. I know it can be kind of confusing, but don't worry. This is similar to the heat loss that occurs when you put a pan in the oven. The pan will absorb some of the heat and will not be the same temperature as the inside of the oven itself. It is a totally normal and expected behavior. Rest assured, the cannabis will be completely decarbed when using the default setting of 250 degrees for one hour. If you do decide to switch to the do-it-yourself mode though, and need to find the temperature reading versus inside canister temperatures, refer to page five of the STX Activation 420 instruction manual. Okay, now that we've covered setting the time and temperature and answered a few frequently asked questions, you are ready to press the red start stop button. Once you see the light turn red, the heating process has begun and your activation 420 is working. Now while we wait for the herb to decarb, I'd like to point out a couple things. The light will remain red and the display will show the time as it counts down. You can easily see the current temperature on the display by pressing the temperature up button. If you need to move it for any reason while cooking, always pick up the unit using the convenient safety side handles. Never pick it up by the top handle on the lid. The unit does have an auto shut off safety feature to prevent overheating. If at any time during the process you need to stop the unit, just press the red button for three seconds and it will reset. Please be careful though, the inside of the unit will still be very hot, so wait for it to cool down before you touch it. Okay, looks like that has finished the decarbing cycle. Once the unit has run through the decarb cycle and the time is at zero, the light will turn blue and the display will circle to indicate that it has moved into the safety cool down cycle. This will take about 20 to 35 minutes, depending on what the temperature was set at. Now remember, the unit gets very hot when it is still in use, so please be patient and wait for the cool down mode to finish before opening the lid. When the safety cool down cycle is complete, you'll hear the activation 420 beep several times, the light will turn green, and the display will show a dashed line. Just press the red button to stop the beeping, then the display unit will return to the default time and you'll know it's safe to open the canister using the twist and lift off top handle. And there you have it, your fully decarbed herb. Now once you know the unit has completely cooled down, you can remove the container from the activation 420. Cover it for safekeeping until you are ready to infuse your herbs by using one of the two silicone storage lids included. Remember, the next step after you decarb your herb is to infuse it. We recommend the STX International Infusium 420 Herbal Butter Maker. It comes with a full instruction manual and an entire cookbook of over 80 recipes for such items as bacon and habanero chili vodka, various soups, nut milks, and even bulletproof coffee, which is a keto-friendly coffee, and much, much more. Now that you know how to use the Activation 420 to decarb cannabis, it's time to clean up. Cleanup is very easy with the Activation 420. For the main unit, make sure it has fully cooled down before cleaning any part. Now once it's cool, simply wipe the inside or outside surfaces with a damp rag or sponge and cleaning is done. To ensure your safety and the life of the product, do not submerge any part of the main unit in the water. 
A damp rag or sponge is all you need and will do the trick just fine. As for the silicone lids or the aluminum alloy containers, these are completely dishwasher safe, or you can clean them by hand with a mild dish soap. That's the overview of our Activation 420 decarboxylator. You can check out our products online at stxinternational.com, Amazon, eBay, and several other e-commerce sites. Now, if you feel like this video is useful, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified when we add more content. Let us know if you have any questions or comments by commenting below.